Hey guys, I'm in Kawasaki City today. My friend Candy is with me. She's visiting Japan for about a week. So we decided to go to the Warehouse Arcade. It's a video game arcade that is themed after the Kowloon Walled City. It's very creepy and run down, kind of haunted looking. And unfortunately, it's gonna close in November. They're shutting it down, that's such a bummer. So we needed to come here and check it out before they close it. But let's go inside. I'm so stoked. I love creepy stuff. I love haunted houses. So cool. Feels like a zombie movie. <laughs> They've got like ping pong tables and darts over there. You can take a peek down to the floor below. It's really impressive how much detail they've put into this place. You can look into the rooms across the way. You can't go over there, unfortunately. It looks like an actual apartment. So the one crappy thing about this place is that the girls' washroom looks perfectly average, nicer than usual actually. But if you go into the male one, it's creepy and like it looks, looks like, like Silent Hill. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's such a shame they didn't do it on the girls one. Why? That is so lame. I really enjoyed this arcade and I'm super bummed that they're closing it down. They certainly put a lot of effort into decorating this building and I don't know what they're gonna do with it now. I hope they don't just destroy it. They could make it into a really cool cafe or something at least. Hopefully someone buys it out, but if you're here before November 17th, do come check it out. I'll have the information down below, but let's go do some exploring in Akihabara. We're at a specialty fruit store. Oh, I love persimmons. Those look so good. A <laughs> box of tomatoes. People give them as gifts in Japan. So they're very expensive. These grapes are $53. $30. 
forty eight dollars. It's insane. I love sweet potatoes. Candy loves sweet potatoes, so we I got some <laughs> sweet potato bread. It's bread that's mixed with real sweet potato. We're just gonna chill here and eat these, and then make our way back to. We might go to Ueno actually instead of Happy Happy. A big toy store. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, they have a really big toy store there, so we're gonna go check that out once we're done. Taking a little break here. This is the toy shop here, Yama Shiroya. It's called. It's right outside of Ueno Station. Look at all the gacha they have. Whoa. Press the buttons on the machines. You can actually press the buttons too. That's so cool. Like the light turns on. Oh, look, yeah. I wonder if they have batteries in the Marty. <laughs> They're so cute. Move on in here. Oh, look. Oh, oh. Awesome. It also comes with a little keychain of the ticket that comes out of the machine when you order your food. What is this? It looks like a Furby. Rizmo. What does it do? So intrigued. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's What? Chukran has the best toys. Oh, it stretches. This is my favorite section. The little miniatures. I love these so much. Oh, look at this. That's a new one! Combini series! This is really interesting. They're like transfer stickers that you put on food and it transfers the image to the food and you can eat it. It's edible. What? I've never seen these before. That's fun. Oh my god, I tell my face for eggs! Oh my god. Tamagotchi have evolved so much. They're completely full color. There's so many to choose from. There's even a Sanrio one. And this hamster thing, you attach it to a Tamagotchi and then you squeeze its cheeks. Look, you attach it to a Tamagotchi and then you squeeze its cheeks. They're squishy and it does something. What? And its hands? It's like an interactive. Tamagotchi, that's really cool. Look how big they are. They're so much bigger than they used to be. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're like almost the size of my palm. They're quite chunky. It's pretty realistic. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many different animals to choose from. A tiger, a dinosaur, parrot. There's a Simba up there. A Simba. I would have killed for that when I was young. Oh my god. Yeah, Pokemon floor. Hagush de Pikachu. You talk to it and he replies to you. And you can pet him. I've never seen that before. You like hug him and pet him and he talks to you. I love these 3D paper crafts. Oh, and those make great gifts. Yeah, it's they easy do. To take home in your suitcase. Yeah, that's what they look like when you finish it. Like a 3D. Aw, retro Pikachu. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> this is great. Cute little Ghibli puzzles. The pieces are tiny. So tiny. That's neat. Each piece is like its own picture. It's pretty cool. Are you supposed to like line it all up? Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, you're getting there. Uh. 
It's actually turned out perfectly because it's my grandpa's birthday in about two weeks and I've been looking for a present for him but I've been having so much trouble trying to find something he'd like. But they have a like interactive puzzle game section and he loves this kind of stuff. And there's so many to choose from so I'm gonna choose a couple for him and send them over to Canada. Which ones would be good? This one's really interesting. What is it's that? so intricate. What do you even do with it? Try and get the loop off? I think so, yeah. I ended up getting him these ones. One of them is the second to hardest difficulty, and this one is the hardest one they had available. So I hope that'll keep him busy for a while. I'm gonna go buy these, and we're gonna head back to our Airbnb, so I'll say goodnight to you guys here. I'm gonna link Candy's Instagram down below. She's a very talented artist, so please do go check her out. And I'll see you guys again very soon for another video. Thanks for watching, bye! -bye.